this cutscene is so good. I don't know about you guys, but I got extremely hyped when I saw this cutscene. Yep, I want this. So, done with Autobahn Ring. We can work on the kings now. Welcome back everyone, how you doing? Hopefully you're all corona free. Stay safe. Oh man. <laughs> if you're used to what Pro Street usually looks like, this is such a nice upgrade. There, there is Aki Kimura. During these cutscenes you really see like the different lighting at work. I wanted to see if I could actually keep that drift going to the finish line. I feel like we need a much more powerful car. The Pontiac did pretty good so far, but I think at this point we just need more power. Wait, don't I have an N I do have an NSX, don't I? I'm curious how this how how this is driving on stock. Let's put it let's put it to the test. Oh my god. <laughs> this last run. It was basically just to, just to make the mechanic happy that he has some work. By the way, the, the way you get the most points in this game is by just keeping the drift going. By never ever letting this the drift run out. It's kind of how the multiplayer multiplier works in this game. You just keep the drift going. Alright, we're gonna challenge the Drift King. Considering I didn't spend any money on this car, I just used the, the upgrades it already had. That's a budget build. There's she! Corona. Okay, the car has a sixth gear, which is completely pointless considering you're reaching the top speed in fifth already. Whoever tuned this car was completely stupid. I do want a new car. Do I have anything in my garage? I could actually I could actually transform that Corvette. Let's see, let's see how, how much power this thing has. The sleeper, the sleeper Corvette incoming. Oh come on! <laughs> Who put that there? Who made that st stick out there? Look at the look at the lighting. During the daytime, the light reflections look fantastic. It does remind me of Shift, just that this game is way better than Shift. Okay, we need to pass them without wrecking my car. <laughs> he is alive, by the way. Oh shit, he's done. <laughs> the reason he mostly died in Nevada is because of those shitty suspensions. And I know I had plenty of cars with shitty suspensions. Draft going. Oh, we're gonna have a lot of dead people here. <laughs> Myself included. <laughs> Another two dead. It's one of the best things to do in Pro Street, just watch people crash out. I don't know, I don't know where it comes from, but for me, just watching a crash is deeply satisfying. Holy shit, front and back. RIP. <laughs> we got a kill. We got at least one kill. What? <laughs> God damn it. Holy shit, I actually did not see that we flew that far. The thing about drafting, it actually blocks your car from going faster. <laughs> oh, the clutch. There we go. <laughs> Got him. I wish there was a speed breaker. If there was a speed breaker, we could watch that in slow motion. Let's see what the car does. I hope I hope we can we can dominate without doing any wheelie events in the first place. Okay. We're definitely winning the half mile. I'm not sure if we're gonna win the quarter mile. Look at him go! You've got to be kidding me, man. <laughs> How did he mess that up? It looked like his tire just exploded. Ah, oh, super, super fast. But, uh, you know, for a change, I wanted to use cars that are not completely overpowered like the ones you usually use. I try, every time I play Pro Street with a mod or something or a fun run, I wanna try new cars that I usually haven't played. Shall I, shall I try to get this shit car against Carol Monroe? I'm seriously wondering if it has any chance of doing the wheelie competition. What a huge difference between those two runs. Haha, <laughs> timing. What a shit race. <laughs> That's disgustingly bad. We got second place and I totaled my car. So, I actually do have a pretty decent car for for grip racing. I'm a big fan of the Viper. Like, this is my favorite model of the Viper, the SRT10. There are a few other Viper models that I like a lot, like the ACR, but I think this is still my favorite to this day. Pro Street, what differentiates from Shift? Well, the commentator is a lot more entertaining. The entire progression of the game feels a lot more interesting. 
somewhat of a story going on here. You do have an antagonist. You do have Rio that you want to beat. Like all that, all that is missing in Shift. Shift just feels really empty. Also, the handling in Shift is pretty ass. I don't like the, I don't like the handling whatsoever in Shift. Especially drifting is an abomination. Very strong, very strong <laughs> Easy. <laughs> That's how I get first. <laughs> the fucking speed of Pro Street is intense. <laughs> That's how I get through here. <laughs> There are so many voice lines in this game. I don't know how many hours of voice lines you could listen to if you just listen to everything that the game has in store. There's just so much dialogue that actually is affected by how you play the game and what happens. It's so good. Oh, shit! Somebody asked if you can total your car by hitting the wall hard. Yes. There he is. Okay. Nice. Both of our cars totally. Wait, he was still driving? You've got to be kidding me, man. He was actually driving away. You've got to be kidding me. Whoa, okay. Okay. How are we still ahead of... <laughs> How are we still ahead of Ray Krieger? How is that possible after that mistake? Krieger is down. Only Rio is left. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> so we are driving the shittiest car of the shit cars. We're driving Nate Denver. The thing is this car has like full tier 4 upgrades, but it's really drifty. Like the grip on this thing is nearly non-existent. Oh no! <laughs> Nate Denver's car sucks! Run. Oh my god, control, please! No! <laughs> Just one more corner, Nate. Just one more corner. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> what? How did I survive? Okay, just survive the last corner. Just survive the last corner, Nate. Just survive, even if it's slow. No, <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> ah, you shithead. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> oh my god. Seriously, how bad are these cars tuned? That is such a struggle. These cars suck so much. Nope. <laughs> too, too eager. Too eager for the kill. No, I got stuck. Oh, I got stuck on his hitbox. Damn. <laughs> Dude, you need to break for this corner. Holy shit. I definitely have to slow for this corner or you just did. Mm, let's go. What? Car, why? Why are you doing this to me? You've got to be kidding me. Where's my grip? You've got to be kidding me, man. That works. Oh, I need to slow down in this corner, man. I need to slow down for this stupid corner. <laughs> How many cars have I totaled today? Ooh, good question. One more. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Nate, why did you build this killer? Come on, just a bit more. Yeah. <laughs> no. That looks like a Miata. <laughs> I downgraded my Viper to a Miata. Okay, 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 okay. Not like this. <laughs> Oh, what am I doing? Oh, ho, 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 what the hell? When's the last time you've seen the camera get weird in Pro Street? Okay, I want to do it again. <laughs> Yo, that's so insane! You don't want to do that. <laughs> you do not want to do that. You do not want to boost and then hit the handbrake just to get around the corner. That will kill you. All right, Rio, get the fuck out of my game. <laughs> that was a typical Ryan Cooper finish. GG. Thanks so much for watching. Sleep tight. Come back tomorrow. And...